believe it or not, these are round plastic balls that I bought from Michaels and I've made them into Christmas ornaments using alcohol ink, but look at how pretty they are just displayed in a bowl all year round. Stay tuned to the video and see how I made these and see how you can make these too. These are just plain, clear, round, transparent plastic Christmas balls that I got from Michaels. I don't know if this will work, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to glove up because I have a feeling this is going to be messy. So let's glove up. I just got this aqua colored alcohol from Pinot. It's on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. I'm going to shake that up real well. I'm going to use this gold. Now my gold, all of my metallic alcohol inks, I dilute one-to-one -one with isopropyl alcohol. And this is just plain isopropyl. So I've never done anything inside the ornament. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna drop pretty liberally. And then the gold. I don't know if I'm doing it right. Is that silver? No, that's silver. And then you just kind of I think this sort of dries it as well as coats the inside and creates the pattern maybe. So I'm just going to drop it. I thought I was using gold, but this is silver. And I think you just continue moving it. I'm not sure I'm going to like this one. The trick is to get the alcohol completely dry on the inside. Then, and this just blows my mind, 
that this is a method that supposedly works and it does because I've seen the YouTube but this is white paint that is just acrylic paint you pour the paint inside and coat the inside and look what happens look at that oh my look at that so you're creating oh man so what you're doing is you're creating a, a white background for these for these colors and that way the colors are showing up. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. And y'all, I just like, just slept them in there and well, that's really cool. So this eliminates, completely eliminates the need for resin. But look at how cool that is. Okay. Yes, I was a skeptic, but I'm no longer a skeptic. However, I can hear that I have paint still in this ball. So I'm going to get a little plastic cup. And I'm going to turn it over and let the white as much of the white drain out as i can let's do another one um i like the silver but i'm gonna use gold my two metallics are pixis sapphire blue is pinata then pinata white i'm gonna i'm gonna be honest i tend to get impatient with letting things dry um so these will probably take a while. Okay. So this one, I think I'm going to add a little bit of plain alcohol in here first to kind of grease it a little bit. And this is the sapphire. I'm going to put some white. We're going to just spin it around. And try to get as much coverage as we can. And now I'm going to add the gold. And let's give it a swirl. I think you could add more of the plain alcohol if you need to kind of give yourself some coverage. And just twirl it around a bit. It's really hard to control what you're doing. It seems like the white is really taken over. And it's sort of turning violet. All that right there is really pretty. So what I don't want to do is have this stuff all pooling at the bottom and drying at the bottom. So I'm going to hit it with my um, compressed air and I don't have the nozzle that it, it attaches to this so I'm just kind of spraying it in and this is helping to dry but then it's also moving moving the ink around and I think I'm going to go ahead and I 
gets dry. If it's not, I'll know in a minute. All right, add some paint, a little squirt. I think I like the aqua better, or maybe the blue and the aqua together. I'm not sure I like the white. Uh, the white, I don't, I'm not sure I like the white alcohol ink. This is just a little too purple for me. Ooh, I can feel it on my finger. So I'm going to switch this one out and turn this one upside down. Let it drain out because I don't want the paint to pool on the bottom. Um, and I'm going to leave it upright just like that. All right, let's do one more. I really like this um, aqua. And oh, this is the aqua, maybe a little bit of that blue and the silver. So let's do the aqua and the gold. I'm just going to keep it moving. A lot of gold in there. And I just want to do one drop of this blue. What do you think? Maybe just. I mean, not the blue. All right, this is white. Just to try to get a little contrast in there between the green and the gold. And I'm not going to use the compressed air. I'm just going to turn. I'm glad I use gloves. I added a little bit more gold in there. to show this honestly with the camera because it's just so I mean it's just difficult but all I'm doing is I'm turning this and allowing the alcohol inks to just sort of settle on their own and kind of decide on their own where they're going to go. Now, the nice thing about using a metallic gold is that you will end up with really cool lines and veins, just like if you were applying this on a cup or glass. If you've seen some of my wine glass videos, you'll see what I mean. But I want to keep turning this until that ink is completely dry. And it's sort of hard to tell because this is on the inside. And I think I'm just going to leave it like that and go to the next one.
And then by the time I'm done with this one, that one will be dry. Does that make sense? I'm going to take this one out. It's done dripping. It's a nice color, but a little too purple for me. Um, so I, wow, though. That's kind of cool. So I'm going to try the sapphire again with the silver and see what I get. And I'm going to use compressed air. Blow and turn. I need to get one with a little nozzle on it. And this is the silver. And I'm trying to stay on the very top of the ornament. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm putting this on like the top part of the ornament and letting it drip just a little bit onto that sapphire blue. Okay, that, that's going to work. And then I'm just going to spray the heck out of it. Okay, that one was a little quicker. I just want to try that, and I don't know, like maybe I want to put a white on the sapphire a little bit maybe. Uh, maybe the next one. Let's do a little bit more of the silver along the top. And I'm just dropping it in as I'm turning and try to saturate that a little bit more. And I'm going to spray it and see if I can dry it. Okay, now I'm going to go back to this aqua one and put the paint inside and see what we got. Get a good squirt. And I can already tell that some of the paint may not, or the, some of the alcohol ink may not have been dry because I've got some running. Mm. Really pretty though. That's really pretty. I'm going to let this upside down to drain. But I think that it did, um, wasn't all the way dry. Let me give this a good, another. All right, this one's dry. Give it a squirt. And this one's interesting. I've got some pinks in there. This one's interesting. 
I'm going to move this off to the side. I'm going to turn it upside down and then start on the new one. Okay. So far, I'm really happy with that. I'm going to try the gold in first. There's a lot in there. Oh, man, I think I put too much. I'm going to blow the air. Mystery blue. I have no idea where it came from. No, that's silver. Where's my mystery blue? Look at the beautiful patterns that you can make. sure this one's nice and dry so I'm just going to leave it with the aqua and silver. What was this one? It was aqua and silver and maybe a little bit of blue? I don't know. Okay. okay there's my aqua. Purple swirl, silver, swirl, swirl. Huh? Huh? Hold on. And just a drop of the sapphire. Well, that ended up being three drops. And then I'm going to
All right, this one is dry. No, it's not. I still see. I still see some little slivers there. try and experiment with white spray paint at some point. I have high hopes for this one. I think this one's going to look freaking amazing. I'll tell you, I'm going to use the paint that's in my little cup. This one is going to look freaking amazing. Get it. Here it comes. Here it comes. Look at that. A little bit more. I don't know if it would work with white spray paint. Only because the nozzle itself is so large i'm not sure how it would work that's that's pretty freaking cool I have high hopes for this one. Look. Oh. This one's reminding me of like mermaid colors. That's amazing although I totally missed the bottom <laughs> all right dummy there we go that's better all right I still have not recreated this one it's aqua Maybe I just need to let these dry more and do its own little thing. Maybe I'll do that. Just let it sit for a little bit.
do this one next. I'm really thrilled with this. Really, really thrilled. Hmm. Look how the colors just pop. When you add that white, look at that. I mean, you talk about easy. There's no resin involved here. Now I will add some sand or something to these. I think that, I don't know if that's clear or not. I can't really get the paint to go in there. Might just be a hunk of, no, I got to cover that time. See if I can pour this paint in here. All right, maybe not. Hold on. Switch this one out. Hmm. Uh oh, that I just did. Okay. All right, one more. want to get, make sure you have complete coverage. On the inside. All right, this one is definitely ready. Nice and dry. Look at that. Look, 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 look. I am getting a little bit of bleed into the paint. And it may have been because the alcohol ink was not completely dry. But I like that look. Now, see, it's bleeding in. That's okay.
very pretty. I'm not kidding. A little bit more paint in there. There we go. All right, I'm going to turn. I think that's probably dry now. Is it? All right, got a lot of paint in this one so we can get it covered up. Look at how pretty this is. Oh my goodness. I am definitely liking this technique. Look at that. That is so gorgeous. And really all I have to do is put the hanger back on. Because so far I'm liking this. But I have to go get ready for dinner. So I will come back tomorrow. Other than putting the caps back on these, this is a, a one day project. Um, they probably will need to drain a little bit more and dry a little bit more, but look at these, look how gorgeous these are. These are really, really gorgeous. I'm going to just leave these upside down um bring my camera down a little bit closer so that you can see these are so so pretty definitely something that i'm going to do again uh let me turn my light on Definitely something I'm going to do again. Um, I really like this because now I don't have to wait for any alcohol ink or paint to dry before I, well, we don't need to add resin. Like this is done. This is, if I was really in a hurry, I could go ahead and put the caps on now, pop them in my box and take them to a show. But that this one is probably my favorite look at that so so pretty so pretty you know just give this a try this is my first time doing it i've watched a lot of youtube um videos queen bee creations i think it is um that i saw her video and she makes it so fun. She's a, she just is a great teacher. This one's really pretty too. So I, we could consider these done. So give, get, just give this a try. These are just so gorgeous. Just so gorgeous and easy. Oh my goodness. I'm in love. I'm in love. And just incredible so pretty wow 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 winner winner chicken dinner now i had thought about putting some embellishments on these um to make them a little bit more beachy but look at how cute these are in a bowl all right, big pause in the video here. I know that there's a saying, there are no mistakes, there are only happy accidents. 
but sometimes mistakes are just mistakes. Now, I know I do a lot of experimenting and sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. So watch to the end. The mistake that is not a happy accident is all the way at the end. I'm gonna go ahead and say it, they're hideous. I'm not even gonna show you, but skip to the end if you wanna see them anyway, okay? Right. I mean, I have to be honest, it's all not all rainbows and unicorns sometimes in the crafting world. Look at the way I want to try it. Is with spray paint instead of acrylic paint. I don't think this is going to work. So I might as well just use acrylic paint because it's doing the same thing. It's running. That was kind of a fail. Well, it's not really a fail. It's just not really working the way that I would have wanted to. Although the, it's kind of cool and it's drying really fast. So that's the benefit. The spray paint is drying really fast, but I think because my paint was or my alcohol ink was probably not all the way dry. It's sort of leaving, I don't know, it's like washing the ink off. So that wasn't a good idea. So I just added some more ink in there and see now it's just turning all brown. So, not what I wanted, not what I wanted, so it's not a fail, I mean, you don't know until you try, right? So, I think I'm just going to turn this one upside down and let it drain on my, my mat. And we'll just do something else. So spray paint, no. But I have another idea. I'm going to fast forward through this part because it's literally the same process. I'm just layering different colors of inks into the um, inside of the ball and then blow drying it with a straw. Then the straw method works so much better. I feel like I'm getting better at this. I'm going to be introducing glitter. All right, these are Dollar Tree glitters. This is a kind of a shimmery white. Uh, this is bronze. This is gold. So the glitter needs something to stick to. And Mod Podge is going to give it that. It might be too much. Um, I'm going to water it down. And then I'm going to use Flow Troll that will also dry clear and give the glitter something to stick to. That way, the glitter is the background color and not necessarily the white paint. I think the white paint will not allow the glitter to really shine through. The white paint is just going to cover it too much. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit. I got a booger in it. It's not coming out. And. Mod Podge is so thick, I'm just going to thin it out with some water. There's some more of my vintage glass, vintage glassware that I like to use. I'm just going to thin it a little bit. And I wonder if I pour the glitter in first. Just shaking it just to see. It's actually working pretty well. Look at that. Hmm. All right, let's just do the Mod Podge anyway. I'm going to shake it just to see if that will work. I don't know. I really don't know if this will, will work. There might not be enough glitter in there. Let's 
season for glitter everywhere in my house. I need to change my name to the messy artist. All right, Mod Podge, not Mod Podge. This is Flow Troll, or going to be Flow Troll. Pour straight from the jug. I don't know. Eyeball it. Doesn't need to be exact. Well, we can definitely see the gold on this one. I'm not sure I like the color combination, honestly. It's kind of green. The gold is mixing with the blue and it's kind of turning green. But maybe I'll like it when it dries. Big hunk there. Different. I'm gonna make sure that it's all covered. Hopefully it will dry clear enough that we can see all of that beautiful gold glitter. Although I'm not thrilled with the pattern. It is what it is. This one I'm in love with. Not even getting any drips at all. But I'm going to leave it upside down. All right, let's figure out what we're going to do with this one. This is actually really pretty as far as the iridescence of it. All I'm doing here is dumping in all that bronze glitter and then some blue alcohol ink and then, heaven help me, the white alcohol ink. And I hoped and prayed that it was going to work. And lo and behold, look at this. You ever wish you My could about just re you hit the rewind button and wrong. see the outcome and, and redo what you've done? The this is one of those moments. This is really pretty. So there's no Mod Podge or Flow Troll or paint at all in this one. Now, I don't know if the glitter is going to stick once the alcohol ink is dry. I have no idea. It might. And we might have to, we might have to put some white paint in it anyway, but that, that's really pretty. It's streaky because of the gold that um, that reacted with the spray paint. This is really pretty. So I'm gonna leave this one right. No, I'm gonna leave it upside down because I don't want it to pull. Um, I don't want it to pull. I'm not happy with that color. It's just kind of, I don't know. This is Mod Podge. This is Flow Troll. All right, got MP for Mod Podge and FT for Flow Troll. This, where is it? This really pretty dollar bottle of Pixis Silver that I have. I'm going to use it. This is full strength, it's not diluted. I normally dilute the silver and gold with one-to-one -one with alcohol because it's so dominant. And I don't like that when I'm doing inks on the outside, but I really think I would like that on the inside. Ooh, that just really squirted out. See how it really, really coats and it's just, this is gonna look spectacular with that blue glitter. I'm telling you right now. And I should have stopped right here and left these alone. I really don't know why I thought that using this glitter would have been a good idea. Mod Podge and glitter. And so of course I had to try it again and got the same result. I don't know if I like it. Used a lot. I'm gonna tip this over into the cup. Not sure I really like the look of that. I don't know, it's different. And if that wasn't bad enough, I had to try it a third time. And because I'm a glutton for punishment, I had to try it a 
Fourth time, I guess I just need more excitement in my life. The four hideous glitter ornaments did get put into my Chuck It bucket, which is a special bucket for those projects that are too hideous to even look at again. So off to the Chuck It bucket they go.